Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome to a brand new series for... You guys have been begging for it, you've been waiting for it, you've been asking for it. Welcome back to The Infected. Hells yeah, dude. Season 6, there's been a major update, update 13. We've got uh, removed the Horde Knight from the game. We now have something called a mini-boss encounter. All right, The mini-boss encounter will come with one mini-boss who has 500 hit points and does 25 damage. Now, just to give you an idea of how powerful that is... The regular zombies have 100 hit points, five times the hit points, and the, and the regular zombies do 10 damage and over double the damage, okay? So we're going to have mini boss encounters um, once a day, starting on day seven, I think he said, all right? And that's going to come with one mini boss and two to four normal zombies. Mini boss demolish spikes. The mini bosses will demolish spikes. They, they're not going to defeat the mini boss. The mini boss is going to laugh at them and tear through them like they're made out of balsa wood, okay? There is a new trap in the game called Barbed Wire Trap, and that's what you're going to want to use on the mini boss. So it looks pretty dope, too. There's also friendly AI added to the game. You need to rescue them, feed them, and build stuff for them, but they can repair, farm, and chop logs. I am I'm super duper excited. Let's get this show on the road. First things first, um, let me show you where we're going to live, too. I'm going to craft a stone axe. We are going to live right here. I wanted to live as close to the fish as possible, but I didn't want to live in the same exact spot. Um, this would have been an okay spot up here as well, but I think this is a really nice spot. It's closer to the alligators, closer to the copper mine. I don't know if that really matters. I actually did a test to see how long it takes to get to the fishing spot. It takes 90 seconds for me to get to the fishing spot. So that is phenomenal. Now, what, now we've got a really, really nice big open ground here to build in so we can build a really sick, sick base, which is going to be awesome. Uh, but for my first part of my base, I'm going to build off, like, I'm not really sure where I'm going to build, to be honest. I think I'm going to build probably up here. I want to build out of the way of where the main base is going to be. So, yeah, I'll probably build up here somewhere. Just, you know, think of it as, like, you know, when people do, like, a construction site, they bring in those trailers, and they live in the trailers, and they, you know, they work in the trailers, and then they build all the houses. That's kind of, like, what I'm going to be doing here. Now, I haven't played this game in quite a while, so let me see what i got to be doing. Let's craft a stone blade. That sounds pretty good. We're going to need a, a pick, um, and I think I'm probably going to need the stone blade for the pick. Do you need two of these for the stone blade? Uh, nope, only one. All right, cool. Now let's see what we need for a pickaxe. All right, I went ahead and made the pickaxe. It was only one stick uh, stone blade, which was nice, and I'm playing fire we get from chopping down trees. I came up here and I just started chopping down trees like crazy. I'm going to show you a little trick. Uh, episode 1, most most views of any series will be episode 1. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick since this will be watched by the most people of any episode in the series. If you want to cut down stuff quickly, you find the number that your axe is in. Okay, my axe is in number 3. Okay, that means whenever I, t whenever I hit number 3, it takes out my axe. Now, if you want to cut down something quickly, you spam 3 in the left mouse button. Okay, see, see how quick that is? And that, my friends, is wonderful. Great, great tip. I, I love that tip. Absolutely love it. All right, the next thing we need to do is to make a saw bench. So that's going to be under placeables. And we just make a basic saw bench. I just, I guess I'll make it over here. Um, let's make a couple. Oops. There we go. So we might as well cut this down so it's not in the way. Did, did I break that? No. It's. I was hitting number one because I was used to being. I was used to. I was used to the X being in the number one spot. But that's not the spot it belongs in. Um, I did pick some vegetables when I was starting the game. So I got a couple of vegetables, which is nice. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build these things. There we go. I think you can hold three logs, right? Yes. This isn't the forest where you can only hold two logs. This is the infected. All right. So now we need to make... We need to make some planks. Okay, let's see what else the uh, quest line is telling us to do. Um, water. Okay. Yeah, water is going to be a thing. Okay, so in order to do a water, we're going to need... In order to do a water. <clears throat> That's right, guys. I'm going to do a water. All right, there we go. Campfire. Um, yeah, the firewood. Okay. So we're just going to make this over by the water because that's the best spot to put it. Okay. And then we could put some materials in there. We still need some firewood. I'll drop this. I did throw some firewood down over here. Yep, there it is. All right, cool. I'm glad I could put that to good use. We're also going to take these over here. Now, water can be put out by rain. So you're going to have to build a structure over this thing. Okay? So let's let's build it first. And there we go. One, two, 
three, four. All right, beautiful. Now we're gonna need something over it. So when it rains, we don't have to worry about that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to construction and then go to other and you're looking for the shelter. And that's just, you know, easy peasy lemon squeeze. It's just four logs, no big deal. So I made a firewood stand and a stick stand. The firewood stand is for, well, firewood. The stick stand's just cause I didn't wanna like have sticks laying on the ground. They will disappear and then it's kind of feels like it's a waste. So you just put the firewood in the middle there. You go ahead and light this sucker. All right, and it looks like I have clean water. So we're just going to empty this out, and we're going to fill this up. Now, this thing only holds 60 units of water, but if you if you go close enough to the water source, you can get to the... Um, yeah, there we go. So that can hold 200 units of dirty water. So you want to do this, and this, and you can see right here why I'm doing this completely efficiently. All right, 80, one more. And then we'll have 200 units of water that will be ready to go. Now, um, actually, no, you don't empty that. And I'm going to show you why. We're going to fill this up with water. You could use it to put the fire out, which you want to do. Otherwise, you're wasting you're wasting firewood. So once that's completely done, um, you just dump the you dump the water on here. And it's only going to use one unit of water. So I'll just dump the rest of the water out so I can take fresh water. So there we go. Come on. All right, beautiful. Do that. Do you want to put it out? Yes. Right click. Empty. Now it's empty. And now it's got a full thing of fresh water. How long do we have for this stuff to go bad? Not very long. We're going to have to remember to eat those uh, those things. I'd like to kill that deer as well. But the thing is I can't butcher it. So I don't think there's any point in killing it. Because you need like a butcher's table now to um, butcher animals. I, don't, I, I wonder what happens if you just kill it. Honestly, I don't remember. I haven't played this game in a long, long ass time. All right, so we're going to need a little bit of a starter base here. Okay, so we're just going to make uh, one one by one for now. We'll expand. Well, actually, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger than that. We'll see. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do this right here. And actually, I should do it up here. Yeah, that looks good. Right? Like, no, that's not going to work. All right, we're going to make it higher. X mouse wheel adjust height. Uh, you know what I could do? Because I want to build it up this way. But if you build it too low, right, as you build it this way, it'll start going into the ground and then it won't be built anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there, that there, and that there. And then that'll be it. And then I'll just delete this because we're not going to be doing anything with this right now. There we go. I know that looks kind of high, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. So that's going to need four logs and a bunch of planks. Don't forget, we got to keep these planks going. Okay. The nice thing about building in this spot is that there is a lot of trees, like, right next to me, which is cool. All right, so now how are we going to get up there? Well, that's very simple. You're going to go to stairs, and you're going to make one of these. And you're going to make another one once this is done. So now that we got this thing set up, we're going to come up here, and we are going to... See, the thing is, I w this has got to be bigger. And I don't want to put walls up where they don't belong, because then I just have to break them down. Um, you know what? All right, this is what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to be at least a 2 by 3 when all is said and done. Alright. Now, I don't want to use all those resources on a 2 by 3 at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to build what I can, and I will put up walls that will be broken down. And I'm kind of wasting a little bit of resources there doing that. But, you know, I, I don't want to be caught out in the night without, like, any kind of, uh, without any kind of shelter. So, not that it really matters. I think you just sit out there. But, well, I definitely want a bed. I don't know if you can sleep in the bed if it's in the, if it's in the rain. Honestly, I don't remember. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't hold it. There we go. And one more. And then we'll put this and this on there. You gotta keep, you gotta keep those planks coming because they take forever if you don't like, you know, stay on top of it, right? Okay, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and you know what? That's gonna be a porch. So what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to put a wall here. I'm going to put a window right there. And then we'll put walls everywhere else. And I'm going to use this first part as a porch. So we're going to need ourselves a doorway. Uh, like that. And then the, the other two will be walls. So wall and a wall. And then this will be a porch. And we'll just kind of, we'll kind of take it from there. All right, we are getting there. Let me see what else I can do here. We get the water. Wait, water. 
Build a water ba oh, build a water basin, okay. Um, forge, hunting, and make an iron again. Okay, good. Yeah, we're we're where we should be at this point. Uh, we just need one more of these. Actually, we'll take a few of those. We're gonna need them for the door anyway. Or actually, we need it first for the bed. So we do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a bed. You can move the beds around and stuff, which is nice. Um, furniture, bed, and mouse wheel to rotate. I love the way this game has stuff snap into place. It's very, very nice. Alright, that looks good to me. And we just need six planks, so two more planks, and we're good to go. I don't always have a bed on day one, you know? So, we're doing pretty good here. I think we just needed two more, right? Is that what I said? There we go. Now, we can sleep. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to continue chopping trees, I'm going to continue sawing logs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat a couple of these. And yeah, there we go. Actually, no, nah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to drink this. Alright, we're doing okay. We're going to have to do some fishing though soon. That's going to be something we're going to have to do. So let me go ahead and... What is that? Oh, it's stone. That's right. Um, oh, a chest. Yeah, I gotta make a chest, too. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Placeable, storage, chest. This could be outside. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so we're gonna make one chest. And then we've got to make a door. Construction, doors, and there we go. Can they... Oh, yeah, they do have a... I'm not sure which is supposed to be the outside and which is supposed to be the inside. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can just kind of guess. Come on, man. Alright, outside. That looks like the inside. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that's that's the outside. The most important thing we need to work our way towards right now is a cart. Uh to move logs around. It's there's no two ways about it, okay? In order to get that, we've gotta make forges. Um you only have to make one forge. I like to make two to kind of speed it up a little bit. And then you just start cooking stone in the forge. When you cook stone in the forge, you get iron fragments. Every five iron fragments cooks into an iron ingot. All right. Now you're gonna. I think you need nails for the cart, which means you're gonna have to turn the iron ingot into nails. Uh, and I think you need the uh, the anvil to do that. So we might have to spend some you know stuff on the anvil. We've got very limited room here, but that's okay. Um, these things have got to be inside. They will be put out if they're in the rain. So you know. Um, I think you could like alt click. Yeah, alt right click. Yeah. Alt right click to put these in. Oh, thank goodness for that. All right, now we are going to want some firewood for this. I'm not going to make another firewood stand. I'm just going to kind of grab the firewood from this because I can. And I'm trying to be as efficient as possible here to get to the points I need to get to. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And then we're going to light that. And then we're going to put that in here. And yeah, I could put I could put more more of the firewood in there if I wanted to. Um, and I will, but for now, we just gotta, you know, do what we gotta do. So let's go inside and let's take a look at what we're gonna need for the cart. And the cart is under placeables, other... Yeah, we're gonna need 10 nails. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... Um, construction... No, it's under placeables. Workbenches? Yeah. Oh god, we're gonna need five iron ingots. Alright, let's um, take a look at nails. Everything you need to craft in this game is in here if you ever want to know how to craft anything. Um, craft on an anvil. Okay, so we're going to need six iron ingots before I can I can make that cart. Honestly, that's not too bad. All right, so I stayed up through the night getting the iron ingots. I do have the six iron ingots. The problem is protein's uh, a big deal right now. I was at like zero protein, and I had to eat one of my um, beef stews, and I did not want to do that, but I was forced to. Because what happens is um, you have a protein bar. Again, for you new people, you have a protein bar. Uh, fruits and vegetables bar, a fat bar, and a vitamins bar, okay? And all of those contributes to an overall hunger bar. And if that hunger bar gets too low, your stamina gets capped. My stamina was actually capped at like 50% because I had like no protein. Now, as far as getting protein goes, if I kill large game, I, I'm not 100% clear on this, but I think if I kill large game, I can't get any of the meat out of it because I don't have a butcher's table. So, um, killing large uh, game is not really going to do much for me because of that fact, okay? Now, there's only one place you can fish for fish in this game, and it's the big, it's the lake right here with the big fish. It's where I, I set up last season. I keep telling the developer, like, 
most people are going to set up where that fish at, where that fish are. And he's like, well, it doesn't take that long to get over there. I was like, yeah, but like, that's still time. You know, it takes me 90 seconds to get over there and I live really close to it. So I kind of wish he'd put the fish like everywhere again, or at least in maybe a couple more spots. Cause I think most people are not going to be living away from the fish. I'm, mean, you know, later on in the game, it's not that big of a deal, but like in this early part of the game, it's, it's kind of a big deal. All right. There we go. Step, step. Um, is it E? Yes, it's E. <laughs> Man, I have not played this game in a long freaking time, huh? All right, where's that fish? I see the um, I see the shadow, but I didn't see the fish. Oh, there's one. Boom. So when you get fish, they go in your backpack, and you can turn them into um, you can dry them on a drying rack, but I'm gonna need nails for that. Uh, so I will dry them if I can. Actually, fish doesn't go bad, right? Oh, it does. But fish goes bad in like four hours. And that's for, like, real-life hours. Like, if I shut down the game, you know, um, it, the fish won't go bad. So, uh, that, that fish is going to last till I get a drying rack or four. I'll probably get, like, a, quite a few drying racks. And I think drying racks need to have a roof over Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have to have some kind of roof over them. So, I'm going to have to think about how I want to handle that. Because I'm trying to keep my, my building to a minimum since this is not going to be my main base. This is what I built last time, by the way. This, this was a huge base, guys. But if you're, like, you know, watching episode one, you're like, wow, The Effect is a really cool game, Cage. I want you to make five videos a day. I can't get enough. Go watch last season. Okay? Because I'm telling you. You know, I'll tell you right now. If I remember, I'll put last season's Let's Play in the uh, playlist as well. Come on. There we go. Uh, all right. So these bluegills probably aren't worth it, but I'll hold on to them, I guess. I, I should be able to catch one more fish. I don't want to be here all day. Um, I did cook up all the iron ingots and stuff. Just, you know, because of my... Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Damn it. The fudge. How about that? Playing freaking Tetris here. Really? I feel like that should fit. There we go. It's a big fish, man. <laughs> it's a... It's a Big mother effing fish. All right, so that's good. Let's head back home. You know what? I'm not going to have to worry about the drying rack too much because I'm probably going to be cooking most of this fish. So why don't we go ahead and... Yeah, that's right. You got to throw it on the ground. It's weird you have to throw it on the ground to harvest it, by the way. Um, we'll do one of those. We'll do one of these. I think that'll be three things of fish. All right, so we'll put those right here. We will cook those up. Fish is a problem because it doesn't have enough fat in it, but it'll have enough fat to get me through... You know, some part of the game. I don't know if the fish can burn either. Uh, I would imagine it probably could. So, um, there was a bird, a dead bird on the way, like, back to base. So I harvested him and I got some feathers. Okay, I also got pumpkin seeds. And we're going to put the fish in here. Again, this fish will last um, quite a while, which is nice. And here are my iron ingots. Okay. I guess I might as well take those right now. And there is that. Beautiful. Now let's come down here and make sure we don't burn the fish. Again, I don't know if the fish can burn, and I'm not going to take that chance. Look at these frogs. These frogs are new as well, and I don't know what the deal is with them. So I just harvested them. I guess I got some meat. Oh, you can get raw meat from frog. Okay. All right. That changes everything. That changes everything. Because I was thinking, where the hell am I going to get raw? Where am I going to get meat from? You need meat because meat has the fats. And there you go. So you can see right there, uh, the cooked fish gives you negative five thirst, one carbs, protein, fats, vitamins, only 10 fats. That cooked meat, I think, is going to give like maybe 15 or 20, maybe even more than that. So what I'm going to do is, since I don't need fats, I'm going to eat this for the protein. And we'll hold off on the fats for now. And um, I will have some raw meat. How long does this last? Two hours. Okay, that's not bad. I'm sure the raw meat will last for this. Raw meat lasts for a half hour. When it's cooked, it lasts for two hours. Look at that. 20 fat. Yes. Okay, we are looking good here, guys. We really are. Let's go ahead and put that fire out. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and make some nails. Alright, right there. You put that right there. Ten nails. And then we're going to go ahead and set up a cart. All right, you're beautiful. And we just need a bunch of logs. I think there's some logs up here. I think logs disappear at some point, like now in the game. I wouldn't 
Like, I know logs used to stay on the ground forever. I wouldn't count on that anymore. So, um, I think I got some... Yeah, I got some in here. So, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we go, guys. We got a cart. This thing's dope. This thing can also move animal carcasses. So, if you kill something, you know, and you want to bring it back to base, you can, you, you can use the cart for it. It's not really going to do me any good because I don't have a butcher's table. But, um, now that I can kill those frogs for meat, that is, um... That is really nice. I appreciate that. It's funny when I see frogs, I don't want to touch them because I always think of, uh, you know, green hell. So I'm like, I don't want to touch that thing. What are you crazy? All right. So pick these up, put those in here. Um, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, full transparency and disclosure. Whenever I'm cutting down trees for logs, I go to the options and I put foliage density down to nothing. All right, and that way I can actually see the logs. Like I didn't even know those logs were here. And with the foliage in this game, like I don't know, maybe you guys can see this stuff. I can't. I'm just gonna let you guys know when I chop trees, this is how I do it. All right, so let's put that. I, I don't play like that though because uh, I I try not to let you see that at all because it's, it makes the game look really ugly and it's not really fair to the developer um, because the game looks a lot better than that. So, all right, so we got a drink right there. Beautiful. So this is the next thing to make. What is the next we want to make, actually? Let me look through and see what's next on the agenda. Yeah, I went a little overboard. <laughs> all those all those like ghost images are things I want to make and make like today. I'm not going to get to them all today, unfortunately. But um, the next thing we're going to be going for, the next big thing, is going to be the Brick Forge. Huge, huge deal. Like, it, it cooks... Uh, this thing cooks two. This one cooks ten. Okay? Much, much better. Um, so we're going to be going for that. We're going to need dry bricks, which are right here. Um, these make dry bricks. I think they hold 20 each. Or is it 25? I can't remember. But we got to make those dry brick things. Um, we got to make a butcher's table. We got to make a stone crate. We got to make a weapon rack. There's these new things called watermelon crates. I I, I might be mistaken, but I could have swore. I read that the developer said when watermelons are the watermelon crate, they don't go bad. Which sounds crazy to me, but who knows? We'll see. Um, pumpkin crates, um, a bunch of drying racks. We got to expand up here. I need these light, these little fire pots are really good for lights. Uh, just so much work to do. So much freaking work. I think the first thing we're going to do is expand the base though. Cause we just, we don't have enough room for everything. So we're going to just kind of throw everything in here. And yeah, we got to, we got to start working towards that big, the big forge thingy. And it's going to be just ridiculous, ridiculously important. All right, now don't forget, guys, when you cut down the trees, there you go. I'm telling you right now, if you don't do that, you're just, you're taking forever for no reason. Unless you just want to play, like, 100% the way the developer intended, I can respect that. But I like to speed things up a little bit, for sure. So I, I think between this and next episode, I am going to work really hard to get those um, iron ingots and... and you know get those forge things i want to make that forge tomorrow next video okay we'll see <laughs> it's gonna be tough but i i think i can do it it all depends on I actually no i think i'm okay I i'm ahead on videos um i made an extra video today see this game got updated i didn't know it was gonna get updated so i did my my normal video you know today and then the developer was like hey i updated the game so you know instead of relaxing tonight i have to make more videos well whatever you know i'd rather i love this job so who cares right um, but I, I get to make more videos tonight, and the developer was kind enough to update the game, and that is awesome. And But because of that, I'm now ahead on videos, which means I can take extra time to grind in this game to kind of move it move it along. And I will definitely do that. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just do this? There we go. I have to remember that I got the food going, and I can't just, you know, forget about it. So stuff will go bad, so... All right, uh, let's do this, and this, and that, and that. Do I have more? Yes, I do. There we go. And let's keep these things going. I know I need logs, but yeah, we're going to need this stuff more for sure. Those planks, like if you don't like pay attention to the planks and you don't, you know, keep them going... Then once you have no planks, now you're like stuck waiting for planks. Now you just go cut down trees and, and get planks faster. You know, it's an awful situation to be in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab all of these, all of these, all of these. 
And let's pour them into this and this. And oh, a couple more. Oh, we're so close. All right, let's get this done. I want those foundations to be done before the end of the video. We're about done here. Very excited for this update. I'm really excited to get that NPC. Um, I was actually considering, um, in this game, for those of you who don't know, in order to make most of this stuff, you need um, tech. And there's going to be, like, towns all over the world where you get the tech. And I was considering turning it off. You could turn that off so I wouldn't need the tech. It would make the game go a lot faster. But it also kind of feels, I don't know, a little cheap. So um, I decided against it. But, yeah, that would have uh, really helped. That's okay. We'll get it done. People love this game. All right. And that's looking pretty good. To, uh, you know what? I didn't put anything in this. I can just take that out. Yeah. Okay. So next episode, I am going to be expanding the base, putting up walls, ceilings, and I am going to make a beeline for a brick forge. I really, really want a brick forge. If you guys want to see more of this series, make sure you uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. And for you super fans that stuck around to the end of the video, I got a little uh, bonus thing here. Um, I figured you guys that watched to the end are the real fans. You really like my content, and I'm going to beg for subs now. Uh, <laughs> subs mean a lot on YouTube, guys. It really helps promote a channel. When people are watching your videos and they are not subscribed, it buries you in the algorithm. So um, subbing is free. I hope I have earned your subscription today. And if not, come back, because I'm going to get you next time. All right, guys, that's the real end of the video. I'll see you next time.